What's popping y'all? Team Money here. You already know what time it is. I already told you guys that I'm going to be doing the review Yeah, Live in Hip Hop South Africa. And I believe everybody's looking forward to that show. You know what? I'm wrong. I was on Twitter today and I saw so many bad comments about this. Like, you know, people are actually not looking forward to this show. And I'm like, what is it so wrong that people don't like about Love and Hip Hop? This is because this is an American show that is notoriously known for drama, physical fight, betrayal and all other bad things and you know a lot of people are feeling some type of way about these kind of shows invading south africa i mean we'll have to get used to it look at the real housewife franchise it came and it stuck a lot of people are loving it you know so i think loving hip hop south africa we might not like season one if they bring season two we might probably like it but the thing is right now they're bringing these people that we don't even know it's like few of them that actually have something going on you know it's like these are the rejects of hip hop i'm so sorry to say that but look at Gigi lemay look at fifi cooper what are the storylines? What are the storylines that we're actually looking for? I don't know. What are the storylines? Okay, Fifi Cooper, a couple of weeks ago, she was showing much love for, for Banner Boy, you know, being a fan and all of that. Remember that this came as a surprise. People did not even see this coming. These people have been shooting for the past four or five months and they kept it secret because, you know what, they can't just be out here saying that there's going to be love and hip hop. The production is supposed to be the one making the public know about this. The first post about this has to come from the production, you know. They had to sign some paperwork to make sure that they don't say anything about the show prior to the release so it's like we don't even know the storylines we don't even know i mean a little bit of a storyline for Gigi lemaine a little bit here and there but we don't really know what's going to be happening maybe we'll find out when they roll out the red carpet on the 14th of february i believe this is the day that they will be rolling out the red carpet for for this but we're looking forward to that but what is Gigi Lemay's storyline? When you look at these things, the things that happened to her in the past, they're going to be bringing up all the history. All uh, you know, back in January, she had posted about her sexuality that she feels like she likes ladies. But this is probably going to be part of the storyline. Who knows? She might be uh, bringing up the girlfriend on the show. She has a podcast and some other things going on. You know, she also um, has uh, this shoe line. I don't know if this is one of the failed brand her shoe line called uh, Rock and Co. Um, Probably people, people still know about that, but I don't know. I don't really don't know anything. You know, I don't even watch her podcast. I know that apparently she has a podcast going on in her life. You know, they might probably be showing that, but I'm kind of excited, you know, because we really want to see, you know, I, I mean, I'm not hating on anybody, but I'm just like, okay, so what are they going to do? What is it that they, they are bringing on the table? I'm actually looking forward to see Fifi Cooper. A lot has happened to that girl. Y'all remember back in 2017, 2019. What are they going to do? Because right now she don't really have nothing going on. Apart from the drama that happened with the record label that she was in, that she was signed to the Ambitious Records back in 2019, 2017. Y'all remember the lawsuit that she was on back in 2017. That was a lot. You know, if they can probably show that, well, I mean, they're not going to show that, but if they can, you know, kind of give us a little bit of a back history on how EFF came up into the situation. You know what I'm saying? Because EFF had made a public post about that. You know, when they were first studying, you know what I'm saying? Like they, they were going to take care of her legal costs because she lost on that case. The Ambitious Records were ruthless to her you know they were ruthless they make sure that her music was not played anywhere she ended up studying her own record label uh cooper records i believe that that's what it was called you know i mean it was a lot that went down during that time if they can probably show us the beginning of that i mean they're not really gonna show because this is a new show that just got started but if they can just kind of build her storyline based on that it might be a little bit boring i'm really looking forward to see uh what's gonna happen but that uh, the ambitious records were not playing with her they you know they make sure her music was not being played anyway and she actually dropped out of the label with the other two artists i cannot remember the name of the two artists but it was a whole lot you know she was trending back in 2017 around that time uh y'all remember chachella morale one of her single and also net soya to eat the one that she released back in 2021 i mean where is it right now i mean that was probably her latest singles i mean she has an album and all of that but what does she have on the table we're looking forward to that when i think about other people let's talk about dallas like come on i mean dallas like what does he got going on right now? He don't really have anything going on. Probably his story is going to be him being friends with AKA and AKA being the godfather of his daughter. Maybe that, maybe not, but we'll, we'll have to wait and find out, you know, maybe the girlfriend, the spicy girlfriend that might be thrown up in the scene too. You know, it's a lot going on on that. The, the R.A. 
the allegations that he was going crazy on Twitter, tweeting back and forth with people, you know, trying by all means he was clearing his name, you know, we probably want to find out what happened with that. We all know that that was allegedly you know we're not gonna sit here and act like we're condoning that but that was back in 2019 we we don't even want to talk about that you know i don't think they will bring that on the table but one thing i know about love and hip-hop the production they are messy 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 they can bring all this up you know these people when they sign up for these things they it's all about money 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 you know and you, you gotta be all in this you know that's probably what they might even end up doing to bring the numbers because you can see right now a lot of people are not even feeling it so do you think that they will just be shallow when there's some juicy story on that they can put on and they just slip on it that's not even gonna happen that's not gonna happen let's look at what they have this is one thing that i can tell you the tease they did really 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 bad job on this teaser that they just put i mean i'm like i mean y'all could have found something better than this honestly y'all could have found a video that is way way much better than this we're gonna go on money Badu um instagram page because you know i think he's excited to be part of this because honestly him and the girlfriend really got nothing going on i'm not gonna lie but you know this is i'm not hating i'm not hating okay i'm not hating i'm just saying well, there you have it. We're looking forward to that. I don't know how I feel about that. That was so lame. I mean, they could have just maybe like show us something. Show us, show them throwing bottles or something. I'm kidding. <laughs> show them throwing hands. Show them throwing bottles or something. You know, we don't we don't condone no violence here. I'm kidding. I'm not looking forward to that. Okay. Well, uh, just go ahead and hit the like, hit the subscribe, and check the links in the description. Follow me on my Instagram. I actually have my Instagram page here. Go follow me on there, T Money underscore back, T Money underscore back. That's my Instagram page there. Also, check my YouTube my YouTube channel. Uh, this is my YouTube channel. Let's go ahead. We're actually about to use 9,000 subscribers. Go ahead and check that. Hit the subscribe button to support your boy. Okay? Thank you very much. I will see you guys with another. Um, oh, we were actually not even. Yeah. We we're actually not even <laughs> there. I uh, just. <laughs> This is what I was saying. Go ahead. <laughs> this is my YouTube channel. Let's go ahead and hit that uh, subscribe on that YouTube channel. I don't know what I was doing here, but that is ridiculous. But <laughs> and also, this is um uh what what you call it? This is my uh, Instagram, uh, Timon underscore back. I'm still building my Instagram page. Go ahead and do that. All right, <laughs> all right, guys. I'll see you with another video. Um, next time I gotta go now. Peace out.